Hello there, my name is Mr. Smart Anki. Welcome to the seventh episode of my Let's Play on Shogun 2 with the Shimazu on Legendary Difficulty. So last time we left off, we had an army of the Yamako right on our doorstep. Uh, but I'm not really worried about it. I can't see exactly what he's got. Um, but it looks like he's probably got quite a bit of melee, which uh, is not going to be any issue with my melee. He has uh, at least four generals, possibly five, which again is not a big issue at all because it just means he has less units on the walls at one time. And then he's got a few archers, or I can see he's got some of our Shigaru as well. So overall, really not that scary. Uh, plus we're defending uh, a fort. Oh, it's actually, it's a strong one. It's, it's about to be a fortress. It would be nice if I actually had two more turns, but that's fine. Don't necessarily need that. Um, and then besides that, we are moving around units. Uh, Making our second army, we've got these two Matsukes who have leveled up and got one point available, which I don't want to spend. Uh, and then we had these guys who were on their way towards Tsukushi as well. And they were going to join in with that army. Uh, and that army is nearly complete, actually. It has... Uh, it needs to have two or four more um, cavalry units. And then it, it's basically... Done, I believe, except for maybe, uh, yeah, two more Yari Ashigaru, although I think I'm going to make four more for them as well, just with the golden armor. Um, I do, I have decided I do want to make these guys, because th that armor is just too good. Ten versus, uh, what have these guys got? Uh, seven, and these guys have got six, actually. They all, yeah, they all have seven. Some of them may have eight. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just too good. So I, I, I am going to make more of them. But I, I'm going to make these guys first. Because I can actually make them a lot faster. Um, and I'm going to send these two folks up north. But hold on. I'm going to send these guys first. I probably should have uh, actually waited moving these units. Just so that they could have moved together. These folks. Um, since then they would have been faster. Since they would have been with a general. But it's not a big deal. And these guys are going to move the same way as well. And I'm making two more. I also want to make some more boats. Uh, since we are currently not being uh, blockaded there anymore, which is great. I'm going to put these guys together. This is now nearly uh, a suitable navy. It's got eight boats in it. Yes, it does. So, two more. Um, I have two right here, I believe. Yeah. So, technically, I guess I could attack this, which is... Uh, 10 boats and then they've got an extra one right there and they've obviously got more experience as well so I don't think I would I would win then although they I can see they've got a few or they've got more Bokeboyas than I have but I, I want to wait for two more anyway and then we've got 12 and then we should be able to defeat that and then it'll um, lift a whole lot of uh, pressure off of me I guess all I mean technically we could send these two ships over as well, but I don't really want to leave them undefended against that right there um, right so making that I want to make uh, or start making these units one at a time and I've got some units here which I can get rid of now I actually can get rid of two of them unless I want to keep them move over to monk somewhere else but no that's well, how, how happy is the monk making me free yeah now nah, I want to get that money that income so it's gonna be minus one right now but next turn this is gonna go away so it'll be oh and that's still gonna go away as well actually so it's gonna be plus one that's good um, Right, we have 1800 bucks left. Is there anything I want to spend it on? I mean, sure there is. But what would have priority? I'm actually also thinking of, I believe if I upgrade this... I'm not sure actually, no, it doesn't seem to. I was thinking if I upgraded to that, I would get um, higher experience on my units when I recruit them, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Um, also... What do I need for that next level, actually? The Sword Master School. I need uh, Sword Expertise. Yeah, that's what I'm not going for just yet. That's all the way down here. Nine turns away if I did, did want to go for it. But I think I am actually going to go for that plan of making the Essence of the Spirit and then making the Chonino. So I can upgrade the Master Bowmaker and just have extremely good archers right away. Although I am only going to have four, so I'm not sure. Four in each army. Although maybe I'll have six then, just instead. But I don't know. I, I like the way it's set up right now. I don't. I, I don't like archers too much. If they are obviously as good as with all those upgrades together, then they would be like really amazing. But um, one thing I could actually do, I just realized, I could probably move, just move this army over here, um, and then be able to auto resolve this fight, most likely. Um, but I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, it's it's not a bad idea to be honest. I just. 
I hadn't really thought about. I hadn't considered it at all. It's 14 happiness as well because I've got all these uh, characters and stuff in there. Um, well, you know what I'll do is I'll just move them over there. I'll move these six units and then leave the archers because uh, ar like, if I am going to fight it, I don't want archers randomly in the field because then if, if all of that shifts for these units, then it'll be screwed. To be honest, I don't really want just those units either. That's really risky. Um, because I mean, I can just I can win it like this. There's no problem. It's just a matter of will it be easier if I have these units? I think maybe it would be, especially since there's a good chance he sends his generals after these men. And if he does, yeah, you know what? I, I will do it. If he sends his generals after these men, I can slaughter them with my Yariashigaru. If he sends more after it, it means that I've got six units in the field and four cavalry units that I can back it up with, uh, which can do tons and tons of damage. Uh, including against their generals, so, and they're not going to be in the castle anyway, so yeah, this is a good idea. I could even really put these guys with them, but no, I'm going to make it so that if they do come for them, I can have the cavalry come in the rear of them. There, there's my tactics for the day. Take them home. Spend them as you please. Whatever, I don't know. Uh, right, so I do want to upgrade buildings. This only 100 wealth. It's good happiness though. But I'm not really looking for happiness anymore since these guys are already in here making these places extremely happy. Regardless, we won't need any more happiness really. Uh, so the main thing I'm looking for is uh, is money. Oh wow, actually, oh, yeah, we can make this. It's not a bad idea. Having the spears of Shizugatake could be pretty good. I could technically even switch to one general per army and then one Spears of Shizugatake. Although, then again, you can only have one of those units, so I guess I could then have a Katana Cavalry, or sorry, Kiyomasa's Katana Cavalry in the other army, but I don't really like that. Although, I, I, I may make this at some point, but not now. No. It's not very good. The only real thing it, I would do it for is the two extra experience on the Yari Cavalry. That's pretty damn good to start with. Uh, and for this, I also. No, this I need Horse Mastery for. That is also on the list, actually. That's not bad. Well, how much will I get from that? Uh, five charts. It's not really a big deal. Okay, let's look at this diplomacy. Nothing to do. Most yards already checked that a million times. I want to see my trade. Yes, you. I don't know when I last exempted them. So let's have a look at that. They are not rebelling, so that's good. Um, so I'm making a boat. I guess I could technically make a boat here as well. I have, yeah, I still have the eighteen hundred bucks. I was looking at how I was going to spend it. I want to upgrade this at some point as well, but there's no need for it right now. I have these boats here, which I haven't moved yet. I'm just going to keep doing this, like I said. There's still that Miyoshi ship right there. Miyoshi's quite weak. They could die at any time, really. They've got like two provinces right there, three provinces right there. Still, really weak. It's just that they're probably not at war of anyone, except for no, yeah, there's no, no one. I thought maybe they chose a copy, but nope, not just got is actually not war of anyone either. That's why they're just sitting on the island completely. Actually, that might be a good target for me to just send an army over there, to be honest. They can't have much there. Anyway, market for more wealth there, or I guess I could technically save it, or just yeah, I guess I'll start working on the socket then. Uh, no, I was yeah, I, was, I needed to make a. Uh, I guess I could make some ninjas. Yeah, let's do that. Just have them start sitting in towns next turn, and they can start getting experience. That is a good plan. I'm glad I followed that plan. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I did so too. Thank you. I just like to praise myself sometimes. Um, right, and that's basically all my money gone anyway, so sounds good. GG, etc. Enter. Ten minutes for one turn. Well, maybe not ten, like eight, whatever. A turn that I didn't really do anything in. Alright, so a Mako fight gonna happen. That's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be an easy one. He may even move away, to be honest. Since, uh, like, I've got one and a half army there now. Alright, hope oh, this isn't good. This is actually. Oh, wow. We actually have a, side, a decent chance of winning this. Oh, they took a Waco pirate ship. I mean, if you look at the odds, I'm not sure how the hell that's even possible. I, I, see, I can see they're hurt, but I don't really want to run, but I also don't really want to Like, I, I wouldn't auto-resolve this, and I hate fighting these battles. 
But if yeah, if I run, I lose so much money because then they will just take this over and it'll be extremely difficult to get back. Yeah, another Boca Boy right there. So basically, yeah, they even that one right there with just this one ship. And then they've got all these ships to even this one out. But my trade ships are not going to do fuck all. They've only got one. Yeah, I'm not going to fight this unless I, I get attacked again. No, I don't. As long as I don't go on that, it'll be fine. I can just get... Oh, he did. But I can get rid of that one. All right, he's actually going to attack. And he's going to attack my second army. I probably should have seen that coming. Um, which means I'll be in a defensive de position. I would prefer to be... I mean, I guess I can run, but then I've got the risk of them running the wrong way. And then they'll just uh, run after them and kill them. So, yeah, I don't want to do that. I guess I could technically even all of us all this, but no, let's let's fight this. Alright, so we've got six bow samurai, two by Shigaru, three katanas, four Yari, and one Naginata, four generals. So really very low on the uh, melee. And I obviously have a lot more melee, so I need to go into melee, that's for sure. I didn't bring my archers. Now, I, I, it would have been really good if I did bring those four archers, but... Here well. So... Yeah, this is not great. Actually, I'm, I'm thinking, is this the game where you can only have 20 units on a, at a time on the battlefield, or 40? I think it's 40. So my reinforcements will come in, all, all, all of them will come in right away, I'm pretty sure. This hill right here will suffice, since my reinforcements are coming from this side as well, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, they're, they're coming from around here, I think. Here-ish. So yeah, this this hill will do. We'll be able to get there on time. The the the, the reason why I ask is uh, it depends on what kind of units I will get as reinforcements. If I don't, if I only get twenty units at a time, but I think it's forty in this game. I know it's forty in Rome too. I think it's forty in this game too. I sure hope it is. I mean, these units are basically the same as the ones in my uh, main town, except for slightly less experience. The armor is similar. Or in my main army, I mean. Anyway, general. Shimadu武士の誇りのかけらもないAlright. General man. Alright, like I said, he's coming from here. Even slightly further back than I thought, which is not necessarily bad. As long as he comes from around here, I'm fine. If he came from behind, it would be pretty annoying. Uh, I said this hill would suffice. It's actually a pretty small hill. It's Sadly. Oh wow, this hill hit that they've got would have been... Eh, it's also pretty small. Yeah, this is what, what I meant before. I, I spoke about this in a previous episode where there's a lot of light here and this is because this is just the highest point. So because the difference between the lowest point and the highest point is so small, it looks like this could be an extremely high hill, but it's not. Because the difference is just so small. Anyway, I'm still going to set up on it. It's still my best option. It's just not a very good one. It does uh, allow me to put my cavalry around there for good flanking. They are probably going to actually be here pretty quickly. But luckily we can set up like properly on top of it right away. So I can completely focus on moving my, uh, my other units. I'm going to focus in the fight itself on melee. I need to just, I need to charge downhill again. Rather than... Um, Oh, rather not become I let them come towards me because I am so far superior in ranged uh, sorry in melee and they are so far superior in ranged okay here we go oh, it's not gonna let me yet 
because I have no men there. All right, here we go. Just uh, oh, damn it, move everything over here for now. And then we'll set up properly in a minute. We've got three generals here. Uh, just keep moving. I'm I'm really just interested in just getting everything over there, not positioning. I'll do that in a second. I'm walking for now, but I may have to run eventually. Oh god, I hate it when it goes to this screen. It's terrible. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna run because they are getting here pretty quickly. Yeah, they're running. That's sad days. All right, let's set up all my katanas and stuff. You are shit because you have shit armor. Uh, let's move these guys to the back. And you need to be over there. All right. Oh crap! Did not mean to do that. I guess I could technically even move back. not very well set up. Oh shit, these uh, cavalry were a bit slow. Alright, so he's actually moving now his entire army forward. This is katana, bow, 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 bow. Katana, katana, bow, yari, yari. It's a lot of uh, bow units there. Has everything moved? Yes, but we are quite far behind and we're definitely going to be tired by the time we get there. And he's probably nearly in range. Yeah, he is. Alright. Actually, just gonna pull back for now. Maybe have to give away the advantage to him here. Get my general back as far as possible for now. There's some bow samurai left out on the sides. Easily picked up by these men. I think I will do exactly that. They will turn for me. Oh, that is Shimazu getting hit. Alright, my other men are arriving. There is a bow samurai unit, that's fine. Okay, they got off one volley, that's fine. Completely tore apart this unit though. And we're getting hit by fire arrows, which I'm not too excited about. Just pull back for now. Yeah, I've taken this unit down to its bare minimum. Yari Samurai, yeah, we took we gave away heal, heal advantage here. This is going to be a complete clusterfuck. Um, alright. Let's uh, move them around. Move them through the middle, oh my god. Yeah, I don't want you in there. I do want you in there. Oh, not the bows though. Alright, bows. You can still set up somewhat properly. Uh, you guys can all get down there. It's not great. Oh, you. It's shut them. Since they are uh, my Yaris. These are bows, generals. Get over here somewhere. Just for the uh, support. This is all katana, sadly. Uh, Yari, you need to get in there. Alright, we are really close to their front lines already though. Okay, it's time for you to start doing your job. Okay, and what are we losing badly? Nothing really. Danger, yeah, I'm sure he is. I have got no fire arrows there. No, I don't. It's a shame. Alright, we're beating them. Get in there. We are getting extremely tired from all the running we've done. In there. You get out of that. Just get over there somewhere. You catch that general. Actually, you get that general as well. Go on, kill this fucking general already. Yeah, he's gone. Alright, let's move over there. Cavalry, you are in position. Yeah, we'll have two units going that same one. Alright, this is uh, mostly wrapped up already. Go on, attack it, there you go. We are charging uphill here, which isn't great, obviously. But it's gonna have to do. With the amount of generals that we're killing, I'm not too worried about it. 
these units are losing men here. Okay, we are coming in from behind them now. You are wrecking that unit, so I'm actually going to leave you in there. You are losing some men. Okay, let's pull you out. And let's have you get in there. Oh, we broke everything, actually. My lord! There we go. glorious victory will soon be yours! Alright, that was actually... Not the way I wanted to play it, but we didn't really lose that much, to be honest, so it's actually not bad at all. Uh, generals, 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 generals. Go after whatever you can find. And this one that's running away that way. How do my archers actually do to get anything? 14, 3, 6, and 0. They were actually shooting for a while, but not much, so I can't really blame them in this particular fight. It's not a good rep 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 represent representation? Yeah, there you go. It wasn't actually that difficult of a word. I'm not sure why I was stumbling with that. Yeah, I got a lot of my men tired. I, really, I, the main mistake I, I made was actually putting my reinforcements where I put them. I should not have put them on that side of the castle. I should have put them behind it so that they couldn't have uh, actually come to me. There's some horses of mine. We lost, uh, it's not bad actually how much we lost, really. Uh, horse units, go kill these men. Oh, we actually have another one already, do actually yeah, you go after this one instead. You go after this one as well. You can just kill this unit and then uh, those three men will die anyway. You keep killing this unit. Alright, yeah, so uh, yeah, I should have put them uh, behind uh, the castle and then this army wouldn't have been able to attack. Uh, my, uh, they wouldn't have been able to attack my, um, gonna kill them. my uh, reinforcement army. So that meant that they would have had to had to attack the castle, and then this would have been a completely different fight. There, it's been a unit completely idle here. Although there's really not that much to kill, to be honest. We've basically killed everything that ran away in every single direction. That's good. Oh, what was that? The men are fatigued, my men. lord, and some must rest. Four men there, they're gone as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's not much left. Let's just end up killing these men and then uh, end it. I think that may actually be the end either way. Alright, there we go. Good battle. Decisive victory. Yes, I would think so. It wasn't heroic, but it wasn't close either. Or costly at all. Yeah, so... Eh, the thing is... In this case, a mistake that was made didn't... Um, it, it, it's not bad for several reasons. One of them being... Uh, I can... This army that I've got in the castle can hold out against three, four armies on its own. Um, so, like, it, even if it... Uh, even if I made a mistake here now, it doesn't matter. Because I can still handle several armies um, either way. Second reason uh, being that uh, currently we're not in an actual position where the mistake would have cost us anyway because there's no more armies coming regardless. But yeah, if you look at the second army, barely really lost anything. And this is my main army, so this one really didn't lose that much either. And they're just gonna, this, like these men aren't gonna fight for a while, which is what I mean. It's not gonna make any difference. Plus you leveled up, that's good. Actually, um, yeah, he's the, he's gonna be the, is he the main leader? Are the main general of the second army? I'm not sure. Oh, there's the European vessel. Okay, general increase in rank. Monk increase in rank, that's really good. Hunting and rest. Sea treasure raided, sea treasure raided, sea treasure raided, sea treasure raided. Okay, first things first is this right here. This is an easy target right now, so we're just gonna take this back. Because we need to get this uh, going again. And they're actually not blocking it, obviously, since they just got taken off of it. Man, there's so many navies. I, I don't think I can actually get through to this now, no. I, I would have to fight through several before. But they they made it so that if I attack this one, he'll come in reinforcements. If I attack this one, he'll come in reinforcements, obviously. This one is slightly out of range, though. Um, and, yeah, he's just a full-on army, so I can't defeat him either way. The thing is, I'm not really too bothered about this. I, it does cost me, but not that much. Uh, we got that again. Good. Um, right, so that was the first things first. Then the monk increased in rank. 
you are level two. That's good because it means you can do inspiring or yeah, inspiring talents. I was gonna say about that. One. And happiness is good. Converting characters is decent. Um, he's gonna be there for happiness. So let's make him a happy man. Um, he can go in there. Right. So yeah, we'll see them. Is he the main general? This guy. Yeah, he's my son in there. Yes, he is. That's great. You're gonna get that. And you're gonna get minus one percent of the loss in the area of attrition, plus one to the general's loyalty. Don't need that. Plus five accuracy for both samurai under this man's command. Mm. I know eventually we're gonna switch to, and that's actually pretty close from now. We're gonna switch to the bow. Uh, Naginata, Bow Warrior, Bow Warrior Monks. No, not Naginata, obviously. Yeah, just Bow Warrior Monks. <laughs> That's the name. There you go. So this isn't going to be as useful, but it. I say it's going to be soonish. It probably is going to take a while. But then again, I'm going to be sitting on this island for a while still. Like I reckon the next two episodes at least, I won't be moving if I don't have to. If my hand is not forced. Um. So I think I will go for this as shit as this really is. Although it does give him extra loyalty, which if my daimyo were to die, it probably uh, changes into honor, I think. So then he's got he's already got seven um, loyalty, which is why I didn't really want it for loyalty. But as it sounds right now, he doesn't have any um, bow samurai regardless. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, ninja. Go and see how about we just have a ninja right there. And we'll have a ninja somewhere else. It really doesn't matter. I just want them to le start leveling up. It's the only reason why I want them. I guess you could just sit in easy. Why not? Um, Alright. What have we got? We have to move units. You two. Move there. They're actually going to keep going until Boozen. They're going to replace these four, as I have explained several times before. Uh, and you two are gonna go towards Higo. You two. Oh. You, 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 you two. We're gonna go towards Higo as well. And that uh, means six. So I want two more, which I'm making. Then I want 12 of these at least. Yeah, so yeah, that's gonna be a while. Uh, you guys are happy again. Wait, what's that? Yeah, I'm on to get rest. Minus two. It's, it, we're finally there. Just a little bit more. They've actually got religious happiness already, even though it's still less than 50% shit of Shinto Buddhism. Maybe it, it, that's what you get if you... I don't know. I don't think it makes any sense. Uh, right, 2400 boxes. Could make this into a military... I don't want a military port, really. I don't care for military ports. This needs to be naval expertise. Yeah, I'm never going... I don't think I've ever gone into this tree right here. Like, what the fuck's the point? I mean, sure, it's nice to have good ships, but I just don't see the point, because, like, it, it would cost so much money, like, especially on legendary mode, you've already, you have to spend all your money on armies on the on, on land, otherwise you should, you're just not going to last on land, and having to pay that, much, pay that much upkeep for ships that are not that good, well, they are good, but they're, they're they don't do much for you, except for key, keep your sea safe-ish. It doesn't actually guarantee anything, because usually when they send over a navy with an army on top of it, it'll just fucking land anyway. Like, you can attack it, they'll flee, usually, because it's usually like one or two ship. Then you can't catch them, they'll go past you, you attack them, they flee forward, and then you can't get to them again, and it's just this vicious circle, and then they just land. And even if you defeat them, you have to defeat them a second time, otherwise they can just go past you and land their units. So, it, it's no guarantee, and... I just don't see the point. Although, if I did have, like, if I had the opportunity to have the black ship right now, I would say yes, of course. Anyway, run done. Uh, I could make another sake then. Wait, uh, yeah, I didn't even make the first one. Um, is that something I want to spend my moolah on? I think it is. I've got enough money to make this guy. Wait, well, yeah, that's what I need to do. Uh, next turn I will not have enough, well I will have enough for this obviously, will I have enough for to Samurai as well, I will, yeah okay, then um, we'll do it like this, I could even start making one right now, but it doesn't make any difference, um, all it does is 
not make me sure if I'm gonna have enough money next turn in case of bankruptcy. So no need to spend all my money if I don't have to. Twenty-seven forty-four. Actually, I'll take five turns though. I'm thinking for two extra experience on those four units, it could be good, but they are so strong to begin with. I don't think I will do that. Uh, I could make another ninja. Yeah, let's go for it. Ash. I've done that. Yeah, I think I'll be fine money-wise if nothing happens to income. Uh, yeah, I need to. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I should be good to make three units. Oh, I forgot to. Yeah, that's not no problem. But something could happen to income. Those guys could chase me off uh, my, um, my node again. We'll see in just a second. No, they're moving for it. It d depends on this one right here. Nope, Patakiyama, sweet. That's good. Oh, my income did go down slightly, but I think it'll still be enough. Did it go down? I think it did. There's, there's not many clans left anymore. A worthy bride, a greedy wife, plus 5% to upkeep cost of all units and plus 1 morale. The 1 morale is good, but the upkeep cost is too much. Sorry, Iriki in Mugoki. I don't know if this is the same guy again, but whoever it is, he needs to start getting his shit together and get like better wives. Oh god, disease. Um, minus 50% wealth generated in this province. Capital minus 2 happiness in this province. 50%. Plus 50% cost of recruiting land units. Booze. And that's actually annoying because. Well, it's not bad because I kind of forgot to make the bow samurai, which I should have been doing already. Because I need four for that second army. I don't know why I never thought about this. Also, why the hell do I have an open slot here? What was I going to make here? We already have that. What was I going to make here? Oh, right, of course. Encampment. Yes, uh, that means I wouldn't have enough money to make everything I want to make. Because now I can't, I can't make one of them, yeah, but I don't like making one of something. Well, this will take, yeah, these will take longer to make, so let's just make two of them. Alright, this ship's done as well, but it's being blocked again. Hmm, we could probably beat this, actually. This is four... And two. One, that one's definitely hurt. This one may have something hurt on it. I'll give him a good least try. If anything, we'll get some experience. Oh, he ran. Well, that, that's not bad. He ran too. Well, if anything, we cleared up the place a little bit. <laughs> like, if we, if we, I guess we can get to him, and this guy wouldn't come in as reinforcement. Uh, but then we leave this completely open, so nope. I'm not doing that. Would have been the perfect opportunity to attack this, but I guess I should make more ships right here. Uh, yeah, I'll, I can afford a book couple, yeah. It doesn't influence anything for next turn. Maybe withdrawal, ship build, quartermaster reports, construction complete, fortress, and... Oh, right, yeah, I just made that, okay. I was thinking maybe it was, like, been done for a while, but no. Uh, you go in here, and then you move through... Yeah, I may as well move them. Um, right, yeah, and the three of you move in there. Oh, okay. Uh, and you are gonna stay outside, whatever, whatever floats your boats. And then there's just the two. Oh, yeah, there's two more as well. And these are the last two that are coming through. You can't move. Only two ships. It's annoying. Although there's like a ten ship right there. If I were to attack it, actually, it looks like it's slightly out of range. Although I'm not going to attack with just one boat, but still, they're slightly out of range. So actually, I could attack them, which is what it's all about, you know. Um, right. Might as well do this again. Oh, come on, Miyoshi, just die already. Let me take your shit. Shikoyoi, ninja. Go sit in, he go. Alright, there you go. Have fun there. Bungo! One happiness. Okay, I can't move out here yet. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's still only 33.7. It's going up by... Oh, it's going up by nearly 3% per turn. That's not bad. That'll do. That'll do. How long does this last? Two turns, and that's fine. Because I, I do need to start making those both samurai as well. 
Although, no, I'm not, because this is going to be done soon. How long? Three turns. Yeah, so in three turns, so that's one turn after that's done. We have to upgrade this, so that's four more turns then. But then we'll be able to make the Bow Warrior Monks. And by then I should hopefully... Yeah, because I think the uh, making the Hunting Lodge won't take that long. And then I'll have an extra... I think we get five from the Hunting Lodge. Yeah, so I have an extra 15 accuracy on top of their... What was it again? 60? Um, just regular ones, please. On top of their 60 accuracy. So I have 75 accuracy and 55 reloading skill on top of their 175 range. I can't wait to fucking use these lads. Holy shit, that army's gonna be so amazing. There's not gonna be any weak link. Because I don't consider... These men weak links at this point. That 7 armor is... Tremendous. It's a little, it's, the only thing I'm a little annoyed uh, about is the amount of ar uh, archers in enemy armies, but I like I know that's a thing, so I'm not like annoyed as in, oh my god, why? Like I was expecting it. But the thing is, like those both samurai are actually quite strong in melee, and I have to go towards them to fight them. So I'd rather have my samurai, my katana samurai fight their bows. And what I like these Yari for is um, in a defensive position, I set up with Yari Wall, they run into me, and then the Yari Wall are as good as, um, as Samurai. Well, maybe not, not as good, but they, they do the job. And they're so much cheaper than Yari Samurai. Because the Katana Samurai obviously are cheaper for me, since I am the Shimazu. That's why I don't really want to make the, the, the Yari Samurai, because they're so expensive for what they do. So yeah, another explanation. That thing is going to keep going round and round. Oh, nice. Thank you for clearing that up. Oh, nice. He actually... He may have hurt that one a little bit. Trade disrupted with the Hojo. That's not good. Ah, I guess they... No, they didn't die yet. Ah, they lost their last um, port, I guess. I don't know if that has a port right there. Either way, they can't trade with me. Sea trade with raided. See, this is mostly the end game is all these messages. Just constantly. Sea trade with raided. Okay, you switch with... Uh, you two? And I think I'm actually just disband them. They're not going to be in the second army either. Uh, I guess I should have done that with these guys as well. I could have been making a lot of money for a long time. Alright, you get in there. And the two of you keep walking. Yeah, you keep walking. Damn it. Right, so what's not going to be in this army? Well, technically, everything. If I this band is right now I would make so much money do I really need a second army I think I do in case something does come by sea and I get attacked here as well I can't move out away but what I could do is just have the samurai for that job and disband all of these troops this would cost me this is currently costing me about 600 a turn 600 or something and they're gonna go away. Yeah, they're actually gonna get replaced pretty soon, especially these guys. The archers, not so much. But that's fine. Yeah, we'll just ban these. We'll keep the samurai for now. I know they're more expensive, but... Oh, it's so tempting to get rid of them as well. But no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, you guys, get in there. And keep on moving. Keep on trucking forward. And then the last two are right here. And that's what I mean. These are already the replacements of the guys I just got rid of, and these two. But I actually got inside as well. And they'll be there in uh, two turns, so... Yeah, the replacements are already there, basically. Uh, this means I can move this guy over here. That's good, because it means I've got another unit. Did they get hurt at all? I can see they've got at least a trade ship. If I attack them, they don't get reinforcements. I could attack and just see what the odds are. Actually, no, I can move these guys over here. Alright. And do I get reinforcements? I don't get reinforcements from these, although I, I guess I could technically move them slightly, and then I would get reinforcements. But I, I don't want reinforcements from trade ships, although it, it would help for the, re the auto resolve. But I'm pretty sure this will be fine. Let's see what it says. Yeah, they don't get reinforcements. Oh wow, we could actually take a lot of ships here. We captured all of these. That's gonna reduce my income a lot, obviously. Oh, we lost one. That's fine, we took four. And two Mokoboyas and a trade ship. Oh my god, that is really good. That just changed around everything. 
Okay, you can go in there. You are gonna stay... You're gonna go with him. You're gonna stay here as protection, and you're gonna get yourself repaired. Uh, what if I move everything except for that one ship I just moved in? I don't know what, which one it is. Hmm, I guess it doesn't make a difference, actually. Oh, there we go. Well, that's fine, because these two can go right in there, because they don't have to be repaired either. Oh, never mind. Uh, well, that's fine. We'll move them in, and we'll take this guy to get repaired. Although, can he move very far? Yes, but not far enough. That's fine. Alright, we'll just move them there. My income is still 3,000, actually. Wow. Well, repair that, 850, that's fine. You can stay here for now, but he'll just go over there to get... Oh, actually, you can get repaired right there. Sure, why not? We now have a pretty strong navy. We've got nearly two full navies. We can get rid of these guys. And uh, things are looking a lot better on that, that front as well. Plus it'll give me a good navy to defend with for the future. And I could technically even attack the Miyoshi here to take this trade post. It'll probably be worth it going to war with them. They probably do have a lot there. Also, I took a trade ship. Did I already move it in? I think I did. Yeah, I moved it in here, right? Yeah, it's badly hurt, but no one cares. Alright, sweet. So is this one actually... Yeah, this one is full. And then we've got... Seven ships. So I want three more. Am I making any? I am not. Let's make a... Uh, I guess we could make some Sengoku Bunes now. Just to mix it up a little bit. Oh, they don't... They're good in melee, just not very... I don't think they really make a big difference on auto resolve. I probably should have actually moved the entire army or navy. Okay, so I guess I can move these four to attack this with. Eh, I can wait and turn, there's no need. Next turn, uh, I can probably take more of those ships as well. Alright, so that's looking good. Um, I need to make one of these. I am currently making two of them with their ten freaking armor. Uh, oh, one thing I think I forgot last turn, I'm not sure. Maybe just fix this up. Well, not fix it up, but stop him from uh, doing that shit. Also, when the um, when the European uh, black ship comes around again, I may be able to take it. Ooh, the Takeda are nearly gone. Sorry to Hojo. These are probably, re yeah, they're rebels. These are rebels too. Buddhist rebels and Buddhist rebels. And Buddhist rebels. So we can actually see, we know every single clan in the game is left. We've got the Amako, the Tsukabe, the Miyoshi, the Hatakiyama, surprisingly, the Oda, the Mogami, the Takeda, the Hojo, and the uh, Tomi, right? So, uh, yeah, not many. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and these two are about to be gone, and I think the Satomi probably will be too. And then there's a bunch of rebel states. Nice. Let us continue on doing whatever we're supposed to be doing now. Not uh, look around too long. Uh, though I don't really have much to do anymore this turn. Oh yeah, the Honma's still alive as well. I forgot about them. So there's actually ten clans. They're just sitting on their on their own little island since the beginning. Still have allies as well. They've got three enemies. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I also want to see quickly how far along are we on it. Yeah, we're really not that far along. That's actually really good. The further, the longer we can we can not go to war with everyone and not have stupid invasions everywhere, the better. Um, do I have any more spare units lying around that I don't need and I can disband? I don't think so. I think I've got everything sorted except for these two which are moving that way, so nope. And those are just agents. These are all men that I need. These are all men that are going to get disbanded. But then again, so are these guys. So if I was going to disband them, I would disband these two. Man, their experience is a waste though. Jeez. I wish you could, like, I, that's one thing I really... I think the biggest flaw about this game is I wish you could just like in Rome 1 and in Rome 2 and all those other games I could move these units back in here and just for a price upgrade their armor that would be so much better because you wouldn't miss out on their, all their experience it, it doesn't like there's no need to not be able to do that it's not like the the armorer is a part of your skill set it's it's just better armor that you can af like if I can afford it then why not be able to use it just throw away the old armor or even like be able to sell it or whatever to other clans it's like that will just make the diplomacy even deeper it would be cool but sadly that's not an option uh, I think I am gonna end yeah I can't trade with anyone else I did lose trade with the Hojo 
What's in your home? Yeah, it always says your home, even though it's sometimes it's their homes, I think, because I nothing changed for me. We have 700 bucks. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Right, let's go. Stop wasting time, damn it. I'm really glad about the uh, ships that I took. Really, really glad about that. I wonder how long the Hojo are going to last. I think the Hojo are actually getting defeated by the uh, Takeda, who are also very weak. So I guess it's technically a good target of them. Alright, they're nice. They probably just took some damage. And they move right back into range for me. And that didn't get blockaded. That's good. They're just doing that. Uh, raiding, that's fine. Satomi doing whatever they can to stay alive. They're also at war with the Takeda, apparently. Winning the sea battles at the moment. There's a whole model doing fuck all. Mogami looking like a pretty strong clan at the moment as well. Not the strongest. They, they have got a lot of land, but it's not very many provinces. Sorry. Sea Trader Raiden, Sea Trader Raiden, and Quartermaster Report. Maybe that too. First two ridiculous Shimazu. Oh, they actually do get an extra experience. Why? Why? Actually, yeah. Why, why is a good question. Why am I getting an extra experience on them? Have I, is that has them has that been the same? I don't remember. Whatever. Uh, you can start moving towards Higo. You can start actually. You first. Go to Tsukushi and move along to. Oh, actually, yeah. You get in there first. You for. Oh, yeah, you don't have to actually go to Tsukushi. You're the you're you're the final men. You get disbanded as much as I miss your experience. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're dead. Yes, you are. Um, oh, this godly army. You, yeah, you're staying here. You're, that's your final destination for now. Are you gonna be able to get in there? It looks like. Nope, not at all. Um, right. And that one is being done next turn. We've got plenty of mola. You're repaired. So let's. Uh, if we attack, we don't get reinforced. In this case, move you slightly closer. And uh, let's move you over here as well. May as well get them experience as well. Everyone can get experience. Oh, they're probably gonna run, aren't they? Yeah. Didn't think about that. Yeah, we might be able to catch them though. Right. Yeah, we can definitely catch them. Means I will be unprotected there. That's all right. There doesn't seem to be anything close enough. Just that one ship there is not gonna be able to do anything. Uh, you can't actually get in range, so you might as well stay here for protection. Um, and you're gonna attack them. Please give me more ships. I would like all of your ships. Uh, yep, that's fine. Alright. Thank you very much. You can go in here. I could get in repair, but again, it's a trade ship. It's not gonna do much in fighting anyway. Okay, you need to get back. Get these ships repaired. Yeah, you can't, sadly. That's fine. You get repaired. And you, um, I guess we can have some of you repaired as well. I mean, you're not going to be able to reach your destination anyway, so why not? And some of these, this one has to get repaired as well. But that's for next time. Alright, you can go as close as you can to here. You get repaired. Six, six, oh, that's not a good time. 666. Six, six. Alright, so what have we got now in uh, fighting ships? We have got uh, one. One. 189, 10, 15, 21 ships. So we got two full navies plus one. Damn good is what that is. Damn, damn good. Things are looking so well. And yeah, I'm still so worried because everything can turn around in such a quick time. Man, we used to go actually somewhat fast. One more, and I won't be able to exempt, or I won't have to exempt it constantly anymore. Um, right, you've got a bit of experience. That's fine. Yeah, let's have a look at our experience actually quickly. This one probably the most. Yeah, two, three, 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 two, three. It's not bad. These ones don't have. Oh yeah, they actually have one on each. These guys don't have anything because I, I I just took those, so they actually lose all their experience. This one has two experience as well. Really, really good. I'm so happy about the navy situation right now. Um, right, was I making two more? I uh, was. Then there's 1200 bucks left. How far along? Some of these might be pretty close to loving again, to be honest. He's not. He's not. This guy in here, please? Someone must be. Oh. Yeah, he's somewhat along there. 
Uh, seven more turns for him. One more turn for Essence of the Spirit, so we need to keep money for this, which costs 1700. Yeah. Should be fine next turn. Um, and then we also need to make the encampment. So yeah, let's not spend any money, because we need to upgrade two buildings here next turn. Alright. Um, yeah, I was gonna like I was gonna say I need to start making this bow summary, but yeah, I'll, I'll hold off on that, because in four turns we'll be able to make the other dudes. And they're gonna be extremely expensive. I, I think they cost like 234 every turn. But they're worth it. And I only have four for each army anyway. Uh, oh, 220. I think that's bait. I'm not sure if that was based off of Legendary, I think it is. So it would be 220. Um, maybe it's based off of Normal, but then it would be a lot more expensive, so I'm not sure. The Oda, wait. I'm not aware of the Oda, so I guess they're doing that because I'm... Whoever I'm trading with, that goes that way. Alright, another army incoming. With again, a one-star general, which is fine. My general, mean in the meantime, is still getting more and more experience. I could do the same thing again with moving my um, my army, my second army over there, but I don't know. If I move it behind, it would be a better thing to do, but... Oh wow, I've actually got a fortress now as well, I just realized that. So defensive-wise, we're going to be even better. So maybe it might be worth doing it just because it will be an auto-resolve. But then again, I'm sure you guys would, since I'm not really expanding at all, you guys would probably like to see some fights every once in a while. Start uh, mustard, yeah, Chernindo or Sword Expedition. I think we have to go for Sword Expedition at this point. 16 turns for this. Increases to trade income. Ah, that might be good to get this early on as well. Well, not early on anymore, really, but this at this point in time because we're still trading quite a bit before the um, Rome divide. I have to make the decision now. I can't wait a turn and then change. I mean, this only takes nine turns, though. Nine turns. I mean, this yeah, this isn't realistic to happen anytime soon. The Master Bow Maker. It's going to be at least sixteen turns plus however long it takes to make that building. Yeah, it's not realistic to do that for the units that I'm planning on making now. It'll be better for armies that I will be making later, which isn't going to happen for a while. So this is good. All right, you're made. Yeah. Okay. So these buildings need to be upgraded. You need to be a monastery, and you need to be a hunting lodge plus five accuracy, and that leaves me with a thousand bucks, which is plenty to make this unit. And you keep moving. Now you go in there first. Otherwise, these guys are just going to be in the way. Right. Can we see any of that? Looks like a similar army. And again, with the four generals. The fuck, man. They're just like producing generals left, right, and center. But again, a one star. They've got no experience, etc. It's just going to be a piss take. Oh, it's so tempting to move this right here, though. Not this time. The thing is, I, I don't think they can get past... Like, if you look at the the, the red circle with Alvar over it... It's right over so you can actually see the full thing. But they can't get past. That's why I was surprised that they even attacked me right there. But I think if I move... Damn it, wrong one. Right here, I'll be in for reinforcement range and there's no way they can get to me. I'm pretty sure. And even if they do, we could just fight that thing again, which we did before. And this would make an auto resolve for sure. Well, I guess I could take two of these guys as well, shouldn't I? Yeah, not these. Oh, actually, I could. No, I, I could take these, but then we can't reach that. But yeah, with this, just move over there. It's so tempting. But no, yeah, I was gonna say I wasn't gonna auto resolve it anyway. But then I, I don't have to auto resolve it. But it's a fortress, and I don't really want to use that tactic with moving out my uh, cavalry in a place which is a fortress, because I would want to stay up there. I think. Because their archers won't be able to do much anyway until they get higher up. Yeah, fuck it. We'll just fight it, Lormany. Okay, 86 bucks left. Can't do much with that, but we do need to do some fixing of ships and putting navies together. Right, you need to get fixed as well. I actually missed that last time. Alright, let's get you off here for now. Get all the ships that need to be fixed in there. You. And you. I think that's everyone. Yeah, and yeah. All right, so let's see what we got of how many we've got of what we've got and etc. Yeah, who are you blocking? They could be blocking any one of those. Um, right, so we have three medium bunes, six medium bunes. 
Oh, nice. Four on here. So that's ten medium bonus. So five and five seems like a reasonable thing to do. And we've got an extra one right there as well. So yeah, five and five. So let's put uh, two of these in here. And then we have three of these in here. So this is five and five. Sounds good. Somewhat good experience on most of them as well. And then this is three plus two medium bunes that makes five plus these three uh, and this one. Probably should have maybe should have moved that the other way around because I may have this navy over there. I'm not sure. I do want to kill more stuff and get more experience. Uh, right, and then um, this one is going to get in there, and this medium bune is going to be on its own until we get more. I'm probably just going to leave him in the port. All right, cool. That's sorted. Making two of them. You need to move. Oh god, golden armor. You're so, so gorgeous. I would like to... Fuck that golden armor. <laughs> it's just, that's so good. I can't keep talking, or I can't stop talking about how good it is. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna end turn. We are gonna get attacked, and that is where I will end the episode. Because I am out of time. And now I feel bad for starting recording this late, because I want to record more, but it's too late to apologize, so... I have to end it for today. Oh, I... that's fine. I guess I didn't actually... oh, nice, thank you, Oda. That's very pleasant of you. I forgot to move them. Um, but it's fine, since... Uh, they moved by themselves. They actually just siege me. Are they gonna attack me? Oh, they are not gonna attack me. Well, in that case, I can move over my reinforcements and then attack them. Like, sally forth, basically. And, oh no, I'm gonna wait a turn, because it's winter. It'll be winter this turn, which means that they will um, suffer attrition for a turn. So I think I will, if I can actually move over my reinforcements, I will, and then wait a turn. If not, if I can't, I can sit, I can hold out that place for a few turns. Ooh, what's this? Ah, oh, this is a really annoying thing. I may have to do one more turn because I need this right here. Um, yeah. We need, we need that. Ooh, great clan destroyed. That is the Hojo. Dead. And, alright. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more turn, because we, we need that, what we got just there. I will also suffer attrition, by the way, but it's far less than what they will from the uh, winter. Um, I can wait for four turns. Maybe they've got more coming, which is why they've done it, or maybe they know they can't beat me since this is a fortress. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, I need that, and as I have explained before, if I end the turn right now, uh, or sorry, if I end the game right now, it doesn't actually save this, which, yeah, there's no way I'm not going to have that, because that is going to make my pro progression a lot faster. Okay, so these take, oh, that's the only downside, take longer to make that, it's fine, I have to do. Um, so am I going to be able to move? Yeah, I can move behind there. Sweet. So actually, now we can move the entire army, which will make it even better. I could probably just attack them, to be honest. Um, it doesn't matter where I move them right now. But fuck it, move them right there. Right, let's attack them, see what it says. Oh, that's actually pretty... Uh, oh, I guess I don't get reinforcements. What? I'm not going to attack them anyway, but what? You don't get reinforcements? Oh, maybe. Oh, I guess why. Yeah, it's because I'm attacking them where they are standing right now. Right, this will do it then. Uh, yeah, that's more in my favor. Still not enough for me to always all of it. Plus, like I said, you probably want to see a fight anyway. But this is fine. I'll just stand right here. And uh, I'll attack them next turn if they don't attack me right now. And if they do, then it'll save on that point. Right, I need to move you again. Let's see if there. Nope, nothing has changed. I, I should probably just get one, rid of one of them. Costing me 59 in return. I only really need one to check out this stuff. So yeah, let's scupper one of them. Not sure why I haven't thought about that before. Um, okay. Let's... We've... Wait, you are not actually full. I don't know why the hell I missed that. Um, that's fine, because we can just put this one in there. And then we'll take uh, you out, put you in. And then we've got you repaired. Right. Doesn't matter where, because you're going to be sitting... Uh, let's do it here, because it's closer. Um, you didn't get repaired. Wait, did I? 
Oh no, that's the one I just- wait, what? Did I not rep yeah, I guess I didn't- oh fuck, I didn't repair them. That's stupid. Okay. Repair all of them. Oh, that's so annoying. Stop repairing them, and now... Repair all of them. Man, when you don't have any more time, this is what happens. Right, so this one is not full because it's also waiting for one ship. Alright, let's do it like this. Uh, you get in there. And now it's full, and now it's gonna start moving this way. It's just gonna protect them right there. And this one is gonna stay here to protect this. It's gonna have uh, two of these ships go in here as well. Alright. Uh, yeah, just go on that little point right there. That's in range, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Right. You two. Start moving to Higo. You two. Move to Fukush uh, Tsukushi. Not Fukushima. And we're getting attacked there. Yep. I know. I'm aware of the situation. Have I... Nope. One more turn. Uh, I just made two, so I need to make two more here. That's going to be the last two for this army. And then I'll need six more for the other army. I can make this here. I don't need any money next turn except for 900 for this, which we'll easily get. Okay. And... Yeah, I think we're done. Okay. So if you get attacked, I'll end it there. If you don't get attacked, I'll end it on the beginning of the next turn. I just, I really didn't want to lose that, because that's going to speed up the whole process. Uh, I also was able to stop exempting my town from taxes, I think. But I forgot to do that. Yes, please, send your small ships over here. Oh, and that one as well, yeah. Go on, give me more experience. That's exactly what I want. Yes, they're sitting through the turn, so they're taking attrition. I'm taking very little amounts of attrition. They're taking like 10% of their army, which may even, again, make me able to auto-resolve it, but I really don't want to. I also can check out their army by just attacking them and like, declining, seeing what they've got, and then planning my tactics for next time, which I may do very quickly. Alright, show me where the Euro European trader is, aka the black ship. It didn't actually show me. It's probably in somewhere in the black. Oh no, wake up pirates. I'm trying to get experience. Well, I guess I can get experience of you. That's fine too. Monkey Rooster rank. That's something I know is going to stick, obviously. Just going through this quick stuff quickly. Path block too. Oh, right. Um, okay, I'm not going to move anything. I do want to quickly see what they've got here. Alright. Three generals, four generals. One Yarika. Oh, they're uh, taking my tactics. Uh, oh, yeah, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. I actually have archer superiority on this fight, and I'm attacking, so I can outrange them. Oh, yeah, I only have four, actually. I thought I had four in this army as well, but I got rid of those. But it, I still have superiority, because they only have three. So, yeah. Great. Next time uh, that battle is going to commence, and it's going to be epic. And I actually can move these two units in range as well, I think. <laughs> Sweet. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.